Hi everybody, John here. First of all, thank you to everybody who left lovely comments on the first video that I made over the holidays uh, available here. It's great to hear feedback on these sorts of things. I'm just a guy trying to take photographs and enjoy my life. So um, if people get a kick out of it, then great. This time I've put together a video of my photography over the last couple of weeks. Um, it's been a bit frustrating, really, for a couple of reasons. Firstly, the UK is still in full lockdown, so I've only been able to go within a few miles of my house. But yeah, it means I've sought out some new places to go, which I might not have done otherwise. Secondly, it's January, and for me, this is possibly the most difficult month to take photographs in and be inspired. It's snowed a little bit, so it's been quite pretty, which has helped, and I've also got the macro lens out and uh, tried to take some photos indoors when I couldn't be bothered uh, in battling the elements. So that's all I wanted to say as an intro. Let's get on with it. Starting out with the macros then, there's so many interesting things around the house if you just look. This is a piece of potpourri with some interesting colours that I found, about 10 mil tall. Uh, a walnut, which kind of looks like a brain, and at the top of my tangerine, which I focused at with five images. What have you spotted? I'm fairly sure it was either an owl or a bird of prey. Its wingspan was huge. And you forgot your binoculars? Didn't forget. Decided not to bring them. Conscious choice. Stupid one, but still. Well, that was very much a failed trip out to take photographs. Hi, Je Hi Jess. There's just nothing. It's January, it's drab, it's boring. I'm really struggling. We had fun, it was a nice walk. No photos. No photos. Boring. Or maybe I'm just not that good. It's probably it's that. Walking down muddy path after muddy path doesn't really yield much, but I did notice a few reflections in these two photographs which were nice. I also took a trip out to the Lovell Quinter Arboretum and caught this robin and the last of the morning mist on this tree scene. The Arboretum was created in the 1950s by Sir Bernard Lovell, whose aim was to collect one example of every tree and shrub listed in the then five volumes of Trees and Shrubs Hardy in the British Isles by W.J. Bean. I ended up taking out the darks and doing a one by one crop on this to make it a bit more ethereal. It's yet another drab overcast day and there's no interesting light and it's really boring. The challenges of a English weather in January. Maybe that's just an excuse, but I don't think I'm going to get anything particularly good today. Well, we'll see. Let's go for a walk, shall we? I'm going to finish my coffee first though. Mm. So here we are, we came for a walk. There's only so many pictures of trees you can take that are actually interesting. Eventually they get boring, but we'll give it a go anyway. We found most of the usual sort of stuff you find on these sorts of walks. So we've got trees, we've got ducks, we've got pigeons, we've got more trees, more streams. I did stop at one point, jump in the stream and try and get a long exposure of the water just after this bridge. But this is one of those times where I don't think it went particularly well. Let's give it a go. Time to unpack everything. Lens off, tripod out, wet feet. I'm not going to lie, this is a royal pain in the ass. And now we wait. So while these two photographs are sharp and exposed correctly, they just don't do it for me. Um, so it just goes to show composition is everything. Whilst I was messing around in the stream, Jess was bird watching. I don't know what it is. It's definitely, it's a tit, it's gotta be. That's mildly offensive, don't you think? So after I was finished being funny, I got this uh, fungus picture on this rotting log and this scene on the pond in Biddulph Grange, but it suffers from lack of light, I feel, and I came back to this later on and did it again. Well, just finished a walk. I think it's win some, lose some, really. Some average shots, nothing special. But if you don't come out, you don't get anything, do you? It's not always about the photographs, though. It's about getting out, having a nice time in the fresh air. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Let's turn the heating on, I think. Do you ever have one of 
of those days where you feel that just nothing is going right. But yet another drab day, can't go anywhere, not much light, boring really. I tried taking a few macro shots of uh, a piece of pineapple falling into a glass of water, but I, I couldn't get the composition right and I couldn't quite get the shot I wanted and after shooting off 200 photographs or so I, I gave up. We win some and we lose some and you never get an award winning shot without at least trying so hopefully we'll get out of this lockdown soon enough and uh, we can find something interesting to shoot. Bloody typical. When I have to go to work the sky looks like this. Never mind eh. <laughs> It was bird, bird, bird on the 23rd, starting out with the geese, the moorhen, and there's lots and lots of gulls around, and though one of them looks particularly grumpy, it's great getting out in nature and hearing the birds sing. Listen to this robin. Lots and lots of critters out today, including these grey squirrels chomping down on these nuts. I'd really love to get a picture of a red squirrel, but they're a little more elusive in this country. Though I was quite lucky to get these, it was the last shot of the day that really made it. So, just as we have bad luck, we also have good luck. Just came out this evening for a bit of a walk and uh, with Jess and she just managed to spot a little kingfisher just by the edge of this lake down here and I happened to have 7200 on and I got a shot. It's not incredible, but it's better than the one I did before, so I'm happy with that. Let's have a look. Practically, this is close as I'm ever going to get with a 70 to 200 to a Kingfisher, so yeah, job well done. Good morning. Out again today. Bit of a blizzard, and I was up half the night. Food poisoning, so uh, didn't get out for sunrise like I'd planned. And feeling a little bit delicate right now, so uh, I might just go home right off today. Yeah. Okay, I lied. Came out again. Just waiting for a four minute long exposure of this and then I'll go home. Might not be the best, let's see. I'll show it now. See, now I think this is ten times better than the photo I took last time. Composition, composition, composition. Whilst I was out, I also headed back to Biddulph Grange to have another go at the lake photo I mentioned earlier. By this point it had snowed again and it did look quite picturesque, so I set up the tripod, did a few long exposures to blur out the water, and they look okay, but it just goes to show that sometimes if you wait for the light as I did, just as the sun was setting, it poked out from below the clouds, hit the trees on the left hand side there, and I got this shot, which is much, much better, I thought. The next outing was to Rudyard Lake uh, near Leek in Staffordshire and is some 168 acres and over two and a half miles long. The North Staffordshire Railway used to run along the eastern shore of the lake but these days a narrow gauge railway runs down the old track bed. We're off to take more pictures, more wonderful pictures of trees. To this day the lake remains a working reservoir so after trekking five minutes down the line I came to the dam. I'm liking these long exposure shots at the moment, so I trekked down the steps to the bottom and managed to get this one. There were lots of old boats moored up on the edge of the lake. It was nice to get away from woodland and wildlife shots and take something a bit different. I like the symmetry in this one. It suits black and white, I think, because of the contrast. But I know people like colour, so what do you think? Let me know. Here's a few more from the afternoon. Some holly, a boathouse uh, and this post box. Again, black and white or colour? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Time for lunch. Nice place for a picnic, but it'll be even better in the summer. Naked, Cantonese-style, poison duck, egg noodles. Otherwise known as... Posh, posh pot noodle. Posh pot noodle. And you might say I should feel bad eating a pot noodle age 30. <laughs> but I don't. I do enjoy a hot meal outside on a cold day. Although I think this squirrel wanted in on the action as he was hanging out just behind us. And we come to the last photo of the day, which was just at this picnic bench, actually. Someone had obviously left a barbecue or something on the seat and made this horrible mess, but I thought it looked really good, so snapped a quick photo. And that's it. That's all the photography I did in January this year. So thank you for watching the video. 
it's always great to hear from you so if you've got a comment please pop it below if you'd like to see any more website and portfolio is here and for those of a technical bent all the photographs in this video were taken with the new Nikon Z7 II and various lenses the video was mostly done on the Z7 II as well with a bit of iPhone b-roll I'd be really interested to see what you guys have managed to take with the constraints of January and lockdown so please send me a link it'd be great to see how you've been creative and hopefully I can get inspired by it too that's all I had to say stay safe and I'll see you next time Thank mm -hmm. you.